Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. I'm gonna show you a couple of makes, finishes that I have. Um, I forget names and people, like tutorials and things like that. I just do. So I will link everything down in the description box so it'll say whatever I talk about and then it'll have a link to that pattern so you guys can go check it out if you want. Um, there is one I can't remember. I know I bought it. Uh, I'll show you. So I made hearts and they were supposed to be like have a bunny head in the middle, bunny arms and legs. I just didn't finish it, but they are finished two little hearts. So they're made out of Burnett blanket yarn, but I'll link the pattern to what I was actually trying to do down in the description box, but this is all I got done. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue and do anything further. That's where I am. So, then I made a baby hat because a friend of mine asked me to make a baby hat. Um, I actually don't have a pattern, but I did follow a tutorial on YouTube. I will link it down in the description box when I, um, I'll have to go through my history and find it again, but it's very, very cute. This is Lion Brand, um, that new stuff, Roving. That was at, uh, that's at Michael's now, and they only have a few colors, but it's really pretty. So, that's what that is. I also will show you where I'm at with my, uh, Bag of Day, um, squares. I am, I have one left to do, which is the Big Bird. I am, I don't even know where the square is. But I'm partly through it. I'm almost done it. And then I have to make the middle square, which is going to be all of the colors. But I'll show you what I got. So I got Grover. I got Cookie Monster. And I did all of the same square. So I just did her first square. That's the only one I did. So Elmo. <clears throat> the Count. Bert, Ernie, and Oscar. So I'm just waiting on Big Bird to be done, and then I'm going to do the middle square, and then I'm going to put them all together. Uh, she did just release another square, which I did like, but I just, I decided, <laughs> at first I didn't realize she was doing a different square for every character, so I only did the very first square, and I liked it, so I just stuck with it. Is what it is. The next thing I'm going to show you is, I like again, I don't have the pattern, but I, I bought it. I will link it down below so you guys can go get a copy if you want. It's a little chick with babies. So I will pop them out. So you just take them out of the bottom. Not kid friendly, not baby friendly. If you were going to do this for a baby, I would recommend sewing the eyes on and not using the safety eyes. Like these all have safety eyes in them. I would recommend not doing safety eyes if you're going to give it to a small child. And they just pop back in. So I made two, three, four. This was just using scraps, five, and six. You could probably fit two more in here comfortably. I just did six because I was bored of it. And there he is. <clears throat> I will link the pattern for it down below. I cannot remember the designer. I don't love my beak. I think I probably should have done it differently. But I like the eyes. I think the eyes are cute. So that's one more thing I did. Oh, another thing I did, which this one does not have a pattern. I made this. This is just I, out of my own head. Um, I used, I made my daughter wanted a frog. So his neck is very flimsy. I should have put something in there. And ugh, the body was meant to be more like skinnier, smaller. But I, he ends up looking kind of like an upside down heart kind of. And his arms, his head... So he is basically almost a no sew. I did, I started from the leg, went up to a certain point, then I did fastened off, and then I did another leg, and then I attached them, and then I just did around, decreased till I got to the neck, then I increased for the head, and then I basically got to the top of the head, decreased all the way to that. 
crocheted the eyes, which is basically just a magic ring with uh, six singles in it. And then I increased to 12 and then I just did 12 around till I got to a certain height and I liked it and that was it. Those had to be sewn on and then the arms I had to also, I probably could have, if I had made the arms first, I probably could have attached them at a certain point, but I didn't do that, which is something you could do. There is no pattern. This is just something I whipped up out of my head and it is a frog. This yarn is absolutely horrible. As you can see, part of it is coming apart. This here, like little pieces of it from where you cut off. It's horrible yarn. I wouldn't recommend it. It's soft. It's really, really cuddly, but horrible yarn. It was everywhere. So anyway, that's that. And again, no pattern for that. I just did it out of my head. A friend of mine at work wanted a crocheted sun. This is part of a pattern and part of not a pattern. I will link the pattern that my friend um, wanted. She bought it and let me make it. The body part is the pattern. This, however, is not. The pattern calls for, basically it looks like chaining. It's really pretty, but I just couldn't get it to work for me, so I did this. This is basically, the way it's attached, you end up with a front loop and a back loop. So I did a point in the front loop, a point in the back loop. I did that all the way around, and then I went around attached and then just single crochet around all of it to kind of put it together so this is the one that she wanted but i hate the way it looks i don't like the eyes so i am going to be putting if i can i'm going to be sewing these eyes onto it because i think that makes it look 10 times cuter anyway i will insert a photo you guys will be able to see it so I did the sun for her. I will, like I said, link it in the description box down below for the original pattern. It does not look like that. I changed the points. Anyway, and then the pattern that she sent me also had a cloud because she wanted a sun and a cloud. I hated the pattern. Sorry to the designer, but I hated it. It wasn't fun for me. So I found a tutorial on YouTube to make a cloud. So I made her a cloud. I don't know if she's gonna like it, but this is what I did. If she doesn't like it, she can basically make her own because I'm not, I didn't like the pattern. So this is what I came up, this is what I made. I will link the YouTube tutorial down below the one that I followed. So you guys can go check it out. It was very fast and easy. There's no words. She basically just writes it at the top of the screen what the directions are for each row. That's what I did. Okay. So that is it. That's all I got finished. I am working on... The poncho from Cinnamon Stitches from Premiere Week. I am also working on her sweater. And I am also working on the summer top from that week. Which is three big projects that I have not got done. Because I've been doing other small projects in between. So hopefully I will get those done soon. And then I will have a video with those. So anyway. Alright guys. That's it. That's all I got. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys again soon.